one really handy thing about having students turn in documents electronically is the, the ability in Word to be able to make comments and also to track changes on that. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. This is a little reflection that one of my students has done about uh, motion and design. This is a piece of fourth grade work. And this is just in a Word document right now. I do not have the track changes turned on yet, so I'm going to go to Tools track changes, highlight changes, and then I'm going to click on that top button and hit OK. Okay, now you notice whenever I did that, I have a new toolbar up here. First thing I'm going to do is just quickly run through this and make a few changes to punctuation. Uh, for example, right here, the student says, I think the reason it only went two centimeters is because, and they put a comma there. That doesn't belong there, so I'm just going to delete that. And whenever I do, you see here it says that your teacher has deleted a comma. Again, right here, all the weight on that had on it, comma should go right here. Now see how it's red? It just it, whenever you hover over that, it'll tell you who did it and what it is that they did. I don't want that one. Again, right here, and I'm not going to change all of these, I am just going to do a couple. Okay, so you get the general idea there. It's keeping track of everything that I'm doing. Okay, now one thing I really want to look at here, we know that feedback is probably the most important thing that we can do for our kids whenever we are grading anything, and my student has done a great job describing how her car went down a ramp and it uh, went so much further when it went down the ramp than it did whenever it had a sail attached to it and was trying to be wind blown across the uh, flat floor. But I want to know more about that sail. Right here she says the sail was on in a way that the air couldn't keep up with the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight where it says the sail was on in a way. I'm going to go to new comment and see right here, through that in there, it says comment amidst all of those other changes. I'm going to say, tell me about the way the sale was constructed. So now, by putting this in there, I'm giving my students some feedback, and then I'm also giving them some instruction about next time you are reflecting on something, I need a little bit more from you. And then right down again here, she says, I think the reason the car went faster today is because we tested the car today on a ramp type thing, and yesterday because the sail was messed up and we had a lot of weight on our car. Okay, well, having a lot of weight on our car makes sense to me, but I still do not know what was going on with that sail. So I'm again going to highlight sails messed up, and I'm going to say, why do you think it was mess messed up? How can you correct this for the future? And there you go. Notice that it is not saved. You can tell because there's a darker dot in there. So I will do a file save as. And I will say this is student 14 reflection. Save it. Now I can turn it right back in to her whenever I put it in the gradebook and I can send this back out to her electronically as well.